Game Ranks presents the 10 best new stealth games of 2015. If you love sneaking around stuff, this is the list for you. Now listen, not all of the games on this list are currently released, but you should know that these are definitely the best stealth games worth playing this year regardless. So let's get started off with number 10. Republic Remastered is a consoleized and PC version of the stealth action iOS and Android game that released last year. It looks great, and it takes place in a 1984-esque dystopian future, in which you control the main character sneaking around through issuing her commands. You're actually looking at her through security cameras. You're not actually controlling her. And it's a very interesting take on the stealth genre. I'm totally into it. At number 9, we have Invisible Ink. Invisible Ink is interesting because it's a top-down strategy turn-based stealth game. At first, it feels like your average turn-based strategy, but it's actually just really good because the stealth aspect of it just makes it that much more satisfying. It's highly strategic and the tactics just get so good. The campaign isn't too long, but it warrants multiple replays because it's just that much fun. At number 8, we have Calvino Noir. This is actually like a film noir style stealth game that takes place in the 1930s in Europe. It's a pretty basic two-dimensional stealth game, but just the atmosphere, the music, the visuals just really suck you in, and it's kind of awesome. It's a great adventure with an intriguing mystery and pretty good voice acting, and you won't regret checking it out. I know I overuse this phrase, but it is really cool. And at number 7 we have This War of Mine. This War of Mine is tricky because it came out for PC in 2014, and it releases for PS4 and Xbox One in 2016, but it does have a mobile release in 2015. It's really kind of awesome, but just be warned, it's really sad and depressing. It's less stealth game and more of just a realistic survival war simulator. And you basically just have to survive, sneak around soldiers, live in blown out buildings, search for food and survival supplies. It's a really dire game, but it's a good experience that will definitely keep you hooked throughout the entire game. This War of Mine really works because it doesn't just give you cutscenes and music and dialogue to make you feel emotions about war. It makes you just really experience all the difficulties of it through gameplay. And that's where it works the most, and that's why it's on our list. At number 6, we have Assassin's Creed Chronicles China. AC Chronicles China, of course, for those of you who don't know, was the ill-fated game that was supposed to release as season pass stuff for the failed Assassin's Creed Unity. And it eventually got released as its own standalone game, and it turns out it's 10 times better than Unity. It was actually pretty overlooked. You play as Xiao Jun in China in 1526. And it's 2D platforming stealth action with 3D graphics at its finest. A lot of people have been comparing it to Mark of the Ninja, and that's not a bad thing because Mark of the Ninja is one of the best 2D stealth games we've seen in a while. Stealth in this game is your friend, and you won't survive an all-out fight very often. You gotta run, climb, sneak, and use your tools to your advantage, just like any other Assassin's Creed game. And speaking of Assassin's Creed, number five, we have Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Assassin's Creed Syndicate, of course, is not out yet, and you never really know what the Assassin's Creed games, but we're hoping this one is good, please. Assassin's Creed games are more famous in stealth games more than anything just because of their crowd stealth mechanics. You know, where you hide in a massive amount of crowds and sneak around in plain sight. And Assassin's Creed Syndicate seems to have a lot of that because it's in huge 19th century London. And at number 4 we have the newest Hitman game, simply titled Hitman. It's being developed once again by IO Interactive and seems like a bit of a return to form to the era of Hitman Blood Money, and it looks absolutely awesome. The game assassination playgrounds are way bigger than any other Hitman game before it, and provide more options on how to infiltrate and take out your target than ever. It's actually honestly really overwhelming. If you've seen any of the gameplay demos, you know this game offers a lot, and every single level is just a massive, massive opportunity for gameplay. It's being released digitally this winter and we can't wait. And at number 3 we have Neon Struct, a very interesting Steam PC game. You play as a female ex-spy on the run in a very interesting Neon-inspired world. It really plays like a hide-and-seek game and adds a ton of tension to the gameplay. You stay quiet and creep around in the shadows, but you also alter your abilities similar to Deus Ex. It's also got a killer soundtrack and it's a pretty damn good game for 20 bucks. At number 2 we have Volume. Volume is the long-awaited game by the creator of Thomas Was Alone, and it definitely stands up to the hype and the anticipation. Volume is a great stealth game with gameplay inspired by the original Metal Gear Solid on PlayStation 1. And that's definitely a cool thing, you creep around guards and do your thing. But what it does take also from Metal Gear Solid is the fact that it has a surprisingly deep and complex story. Also, not to mention the fact that Andy Serkis is in the game, that's pretty cool. It's a stealth game where the story I actually really care about. And at number one, speaking of stories I really care about, Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain. Of course this is on our list because honestly it's one of the best stealth games to come out this year, if not in quite a while. You know, criticisms about this game's story or whatever aside, the open world stealth gameplay is just so damn good and it's really addictive. If you haven't played Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain yet, you should maybe check it out if you like stealth games, because while it does throw it in the open world, it really just works. It's well thought out and it's a great game to play. You'll be playing it for a while. 
So guys, those were the best new stealth games worth playing or checking out in 2015. We've also got a few bonus games on our list, including The Swindle, Ronin, and AV. If you got any other ones you can recommend, be it on iPhone, iOS, PC, or console, let us know in the comments below because we all want to play these things. And if you did learn about a new game or two, definitely click the like button because that helps us out. But subscribing is the absolute best thing you can do because we put out videos like this every single day if you're new. But thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.